made my oats a little bit too watery this morning, sadly. I showered, now I have the record fluffiest hair of my life. So fluffy! Um, and now I'm going to head to get my eyelashes done. Ooh, I'm so tired still. I didn't drink coffee because I want to sleep during this appointment because you can't do anything. You slide there with your eyes closed. I tried sleeping so hard in that appointment, but I could not. All right guys, so I'm gonna do a host tour now. First of all, the noise going on in the background is the air conditioner and right now I have a backpack in the dryer so it's like really loud. So that's the noise, so hopefully you don't mind. Um, and secondly, my host is messy right now, so uh, just don't judge me, please. <laughs> it's been kind of a crazy week. And then thirdly, the furniture is not all set up and there's still stuff in boxes. So this is kind of just like an initial tour. And then once I have like all the furniture set up and all the decor and everything, um, then I'll show you guys that. But I'm gonna start now because I really wanna get this done. My flight leaves in a few hours. So I'm gonna get this done now. Okay, so this is what it's like when you walk in. You're greeted by that lovely noise. Then this is the upstairs, and then this is kind of like the hall area. And this is the closet. Obviously, stuff still in boxes. Dun, dun, dun. And then when you walk over here, this is the laundry room where the air conditioner is. Super loud. Um, and this is the washer and dryer. Recyclables. And then over here is the first bathroom this is just like guest bathroom or whatever and there is a full tub and shower but we have not used it yet and then if you walk through here this is like another room but I'll show you guys that in a second so then as you walk down the hallway and you turn to the right then you get to the main area so right here is the kitchen I love the all white cabinets I'm obsessed and I really like this thing above the stove it's really modern and nice um, I'm not sold on the warm tones as you guys probably know I, I like cool tones but you know what it's still really nice <laughs> obviously this is how I like to set up the kitchen so toasters over here coffee and stuff then all these nice drawers, which I love. It's a gas stove, which you don't usually see on the East Coast unless you install it yourself and you have a lot of money. So that's kind of nice that we have that. Um, this is the island, so more drawers. The microwave's here. The fridge is here. And I've been we've been eating here because we don't have a kitchen table yet. So as you come around, it's kind of like a seated area and there's a little plug up there, which is awesome. And then this is a living room area. It's super messy again, but I apologize for that. So we have two little shelves set up. This is a built-in gas fireplace, which we don't usually see on the East Coast. It's normally electric. Um, then just like more stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we don't have a coach yet, but we're gonna put one over in this area. These are 18 feet or 20 feet or something ceilings. So really high ceilings and what's covering. So these are blinders. You can't see in cause they're like pretty thick black, but the light is so bright that it looks very see-through from the inside during the day. But these basically, if you didn't have these down, then it would heat up really fast in here so we keep them down during the day mostly they're all manual so you just have to like take this thing and like pull up and then oops other way so pull and the ones up there do the same thing as well here is a door so this is our first patio so you go through here you see our lovely neighboring sushi restaurant and then this is kind of the view of the downtown i'm gonna totally show my location here but oh well so you just have this huge view and that's a coffee shop down there this is a common area and these are all my windows yay light in it's really warm out today 
So then you can walk through to this area. I think this is where you would put like, a dining table. More high ceilings. And then this is the first like room type thing. So this is where the bathroom is. Like that's when I opened that first door. So right now it just has boxes and then more like boxes and storage and stuff in there. But it's a huge closet for a guest bedroom. I'm just drawing laundry here. And then this is kind of a divided part of the room so you can have two rooms. Upstairs there is where the bedroom is. So it's a loft bedroom. And then this is the second patio. So you can see there's someone else probably right there. This is the view from this side. I'm scared because that door has flown open before the way the handles work are European or something. So I don't really understand how to use them. So then you can walk back through here. I hate that yellow light. I'm working on changing all the lights in here so that they're white. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs now. This is what it looks like. And excuse the mess again. So as you walk over through here, you get to the bedroom area, bed, but you guys get the idea. I think there's supposed to be a TV there, but I'm gonna cover that up with a painting. And this is like, <laughs> this, I'll show you guys. So then you walk over here and then you get to the bathroom, which the bathroom, I have to say, it's probably my favorite part of the entire place. I don't know why, I just really like the bathroom. So toilet, tub, I have like wet swimwear in there. So it's a really nice big tub. So this apparently, like, I don't know, because it's like some weird, like, you can just open it up and like chat with the person in the bed when you're in the bath. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but this is kind of like a step area. It's kind of dangerous, honestly, when it's wet, it's slippery, so you gotta be careful coming out of the bath. Here's me trying to pack my stuff up. My little geometric garbage can. This is the sink area. Sink number one. I bought this, I'm obsessed with this. It's a marble, it's supposed to be a cutting board, I think, but I didn't like how the sinks were separated because I wanted more counter space. So I just kind of put that marble slab thingy there and I think it looks so cute. And I just left this stuff for visual effect <laughs> for aesthetic reasons. So they thought it looked nice. Second sink, towel bar, self-explanatory. This is a shower. It's not the cleanest right now. I apologize again, but this is what it looks like inside. So it's big. It's got the rainwater faucet. It's got another shower head there randomly. And then it has like these thingies, which like, <laughs> it's so weird, but they like spray water like that. And then this kind of sprays water overhead. And then this one like, it like that and then I don't know I don't really know why there's so many and there's also a steamer so it can be like a shower sauna I've never used it yet though oh and there's a light in the shower and then over here is my closet which is coming together I'm so happy about it just stuff I haven't put away yet stuff semi-organized but I do like how I organized my clothes that are hanging so I could probably get a cool link image here Yay, walk-in closet. I'm like squished in the corner right now. Okay, so this is all of my athletic wear in this entire section right here. And more in this section and along here. So this is my Lulu and February 21. Then this part is dedicated to all my Gymshark. So I have it all hanging there. Then these are all my sports bras and crop tops, which I had arranged in beautiful color order. Then these are my non-fitness clothes here. It's a lot smaller of a section. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And here, it's kind of creepy crawl space thingy, but I just have like clothes and stuff that I'm giving away or selling or whatever. So that's just under the stairs. Okay, so as you leave the bathroom, then to the left up here is the stairs going to the rooftop balcony. So, and then there it is. So lights coming in. 
so I should lock that. I irresponsibly left a chair up here. I don't know why. So this is the rooftop balcony, and then this is a hot tub here. It's still running. Chlorine in it needs to be fixed. I don't really know how to do that. The chlorine needs to be fixed. I'm not really sure how to do that, so I'll just... And then you still have more views. I love the lattice, and then up here is kind of a, another lattice. You might string lights up here to decorate it. And here's the view. And then you can see the lake from here. This is the only balcony where you can see the lake. And that's the view that way. And we're back at the starting place, so that's it. Three hours and 15 minutes out from when the flight leaves. Time to start packing. I'll quickly show you guys my Forever 21 stuff. So first I got these shoes. They actually feel like they're gonna be super comfy. They have these long suede straps so they can lace up around your ankle. Really cute. And then I got this suede uh, long sleeve shirt so this is can be worn like a jacket over clothes then i got this crop top it's a lace up crop top i also got another one kind of like it so it's all laced up here then i got another one of these kind of gray merle knit tops this i just got it because i really liked the color but it's a tie front long sleeve crop top i got these cute little bras black and it has kind of the straps in the front then i got it's like a cowl neck long dress then i got this it's a black long sleeve mini dress with the tie front lace up kind of lace up front this skirt and this is kind of probably i would wear more as maybe a bikini cover-up i saw this picture on steph paca's instagram wearing kind of something similar so i just really wanted it then i got this long midi tank dress it's just a gray plain tank dress i usually get basics from forever 21 because it's cheap and it's just kind of like fashion that probably is in style for a little while and not worth it to me to spend a whole lot of money but i'll spend money more on like from a ritzia or whatever that are more statement style pieces and this one's like a little bit fancier nude knit tulip skirt and then i just got these plain cotton leggings because i saw them on tammy hembro's account and i just really wanted them yeah i just get fashion inspo from those two women so i suggest following them and what's this oh just a plain black skirt because i didn't have one of them so that's my forever 21 haul progress my newest tactic is to just throw all the stuff that is downstairs in here and then bring this and that little guy upstairs. Oh, and I forgot to point out my tree, Wilbur. Isn't he so cute? Yes, you little buddy. Ah, nice clean Lulu bag. Okay, so my quick little meal before I leave, I'm having one of these Weight Watchers 80 calorie wraps, deli turkey meat, fat-free Miracle Whip and mustard. And I'm gonna throw on some of this lettuce, some of this low-fat cheese. I also had one of these and I'm gonna have some raspberries on the side. Done. Athletic wear, undies, socks, non-athletic wear, and closet is pretty well cleaned out.